Hey guys, welcome to Hydro Tea, where we spill all the tea. My name is Michelle and Kenzie is out today. So I will be doing the interview with Amy Jo by myself. I'm super excited for today. We are going to be talking about lots of things and talking about her new sleeve coming out. So here we go. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? Good. I was thinking you should do like the intro, like Hydro tea with Amy VSG. I'm like, it rhymes. Like, that's yes, such a vibe. <laughs> I love it. Hydro tea with Amy VSG. So cute. <laughs> I feel like the, this, how I sound on here just cracks me up. Like, right. in my headphones. Same. Same. It's right? like muffly. I'm like, yeah. is this how I you guys love hear it. me in real life? Like, I love it. Be honest. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, so where did you grow up? So I'm actually originally from Minnesota. I come from a really small town, um, literally middle of nowhere, like 200 population, <laughs> like, and then we moved to San Diego. It's just like a massive culture shock. So, yeah. But yeah, so I, when did you move to San Diego? Um, in 2018, I actually got married and my husband was stationed at Camp Pendleton in California. So Okay. Where, where did you meet him? Then. We grew up in the same small town, so oh, okay. we've like I've always like known of him. His brother was one of my brother's friends, and then his brother's girlfriend Nissa is one of my best friends. So that's how we met each other, and yeah, Aww, cute. Here we are. What brought you to San Diego? Him being in the Marines, oh, so okay, he was yeah. stationed at okay. Camp Pendleton, and he just got out, and we kind of stayed around the area. Yeah. So you yeah. can't leave. Yeah, Once you, you go can't. There, you, you cannot. Can. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to get there, but it's hard to get there. It, it is. It's, it's so it's expensive. Hard to leave, so. Oh. D- Girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So bad. You're like, oh man. Okay. Um, so what were you like as a child? Oh gosh. I feel like I've always been kind of like outgoing and bubbly and loud, but yeah. Yeah, like what what interests did you have? Like did you play sports in junior high? Like Yeah, so I did like basketball, volleyball, I was in dance, and then when I got into high school I actually did um college. I did PSEL my senior year. So I didn't do anything my senior year, I just did my college and then I actually like moved out to San Diego before I graduated. Like I was like, peace out, gotta go. <laughs> well, and, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what did you do after high school? Like, so I just moved out to California, and that's like. So like right from high school. I got married my senior year of high school. Like I was 18. Oh my heck! I know. I know. That is awesome. I know. I feel like when you know, you know, like if you didn't like grow up with him, you just knew of him. And then like, how did that come about? So we started like really talking when he left, like for the military and yeah, it all happened relatively quickly. Yeah. yeah. You're like, okay, I'm coming out. Still here. I'm headed out there. Yeah. Yeah, No, me and my husband, we met and we were like engaged within four months and then married a year later, but we've been married almost six years. Over six years. That's so awesome. So I feel like when you know, you know. Yeah. You know? I, it's almost been, it's been like three and a half years. I'm like, am I yeah. getting old? Like, <laughs> No. But people no. think I'm so much older. They're like, you're only 21. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought you were like 23. I like know. just maturity yeah, wise, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I get that a lot. Yeah. So when you kept saying like, oh yeah, I moved out. I'm like, no, like what did you do after? And you're like, no, I moved I, to yeah. San Diego. <laughs> okay. So I'm... Um, Going into being married at a young age, how did you navigate that part of your life? It's definitely hard. And it was like my first like actual like relationship. So it's a lot of like learning, not only being young and like in like married in like a committed, like serious relationship, but also him being in the military and like my entire surgery and just like throw many, so many things being thrown at us that it was just like a lot. But communication is definitely something that is massive. Yes. That's so smart to hear from you at 21. Honestly. If you don't talk about it, like you're just going to have massive issues. So that's my biggest piece of advice is just communication for sure. That is so smart. You guys write that down. I tell you (laughs) what, like it really is communicating. Like just say it, just say what the issue is, you know, like don't sit there and mope and like go in the next room, like just say it out loud and then get over it. And then you guys are happy and going on with life. So, um, let's see, what was your relationship like with food food, or fitness, food and nutrition? So, um, my parents got divorced when I was seven years old and that's really like when everything kind of went south. Um, I was put on my first diet pill when I was nine years old. I was put on the I mean, yeah. Um, and I was literally like, it's been toxic ever since. No one ever really helped get to the root of like, why I was gaining weight and it was emotional eating because I was going through such a traumatic like my parents were divorcing like it was very very like not a good environment Um, 
So yeah, yeah. Um, it was just emotional eating, stress eating, comfort eating, things like that. And so they would just give me diet pills and it was the same, like lose 50, gain 50, lose 50, gain 50. Yeah. And like, no one ever helped me. Like you need to go to like therapy for things like that. Like a diet pill is not like, sure, it's going to help you with your appetite, but what happens when you get off of it? Um, and so, yeah, that's when it all just kind of went south. And then I moved away from home at 18. So that was like a big stressor there. Yeah. Um, and I gained like another 80 pounds and I was like, I am like so tired of living this way. So I went to my doctor my mom had actually had VSG. So I've like watched her go through the surgery when I was like younger. So I'm like, okay, but I was like always against it. I'm like, that's really intense. Like that's really extreme. And like, I didn't know anyone like my age, like that had it. I was like, I, my mom had it. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I went to the doctor and I like kind of brought it up. I was like, I just, I'm so sick of like feeling like this. Like I need something that's going to change my life. And like, I just, I, I'm 19. I don't want to spend the rest of my life like miserable, unhappy, uncomfortable. And they're like, well, would you, like, consider it? And yada, yada, yada. And, like, I talked with my mom about it. And I was like, I think I should do it. Like, I'm just, I'm going to do it. Um, And so I did. Yeah. And I documented my journey on Instagram. So smart. Literally, no, like, never in a million years did I ever think it was going to grow into what it has. Yeah. Um, I literally just had, we had an entire, like, retreat the last couple days in San Diego with all of my community. People were flying in from the UK to, like, meet everyone. Yeah. And yeah, but two and a half years ago, like, that community on Instagram didn't exist. Like, there was a few, like, here and there, but when I first started, again, with no intentions of, like, ever growing my Instagram, I started with a black profile photo on private. Like, I literally went on Gmail, typed in random letters at gmail.com. Like, I wanted a separate, like, like account. Like, I didn't attach my phone number. I was like, there is no way, like, people from my hometown are going to find this. Like, I just want this to be, like, a safe space. I want to document my journey. I want to share my story, like, maybe connect with a couple others in the community. And it just, it grew from there. And then, like, I hit, like, 4K, I think it was. And I was like, you know what? Like, maybe I can reach other people. Like, and so I took it off private, and it just, like, started growing and growing and growing. And now I'm almost to 100,000 followers, which is insane to me. Like, I, I can't believe it. Literally, people at this retreat, like, come up to me, and they're like, I hope you know, like, you've changed my life. Like, it's so nice to have someone that's like young and that has gone through this to relate to. And I'm like, it's just insane how that all worked out. That is incredible. So what piece of advice would you give someone else that would be your age? Like considering surgery? Yeah. Do it for you. I think a lot of people, like the biggest fear and the biggest like concern that people have is what other people are going to think of them because it is such an extreme thing. Yeah. Um, but it changed my life. Like, I just think of, like, literally, like, 19-year-old Amy. Like, I was in, like, a size 18. Like, I was so freaking unhealthy, unhappy. Like, I was miserable. And why would I stay there unhappy just, like, because I care what someone else thinks? Like, at the end of the day, like, it's my body. It's my life. Like, I have to live in it. I have to do this every day. Why would I make a decision based on what someone else thinks? Do you know what I mean? So, like, what what's the process of that for, like, people that don't know? So, it's really dependent on your insurance. I had my husband's insurance. He was active duty at the mm-hmm. time. So, I used TRICARE Prime. Um, and it, it depends on your insurance and it depends on your clinic and their requirements. So, like, before I, I had surgery, I had to go through, like, um, psychiatrist appointments, um, nutrition appointments. I had to check in with my doctor for, like, three consecutive months. But the period, like the waiting period for me was four months. So from my first appointment to being rolled into the OR, it was four months. So okay. it's fairly quick, but I know some people have like a year long wait and some people go to Mexico and do it. So it's yeah. like a weekend thing, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, because like I could totally see where people would feel like, like they weren't ready to do it and yeah. they, they make sure like you are because yeah. it is such a big thing. And then what happens like if it you is. don't stick to it is. I'm in a place right now, like I said, I had surgery on July 30th of 2019. Like, I'm over two years post-op, two and a half years post-op. So, I'm in a place where I can gain it all back in six months if I want to. And that's why it's really important to do the therapy, go through the psychiatrist appointments. Like, make sure, like, you're getting to the root cause of why, like, what got you there in the first place. Um, And because that's, like, you you can fail. Like, you can gain the weight back. And that's, and I don't think people realize it. Um, especially on TikTok, people love to discredit like your hard work because you've had weight loss surgery Mm -hmm. and it's just people being uneducated. Like in six months, if I wanted to, I could gain like a hundred pounds back. And that's just like the reality of it as much, like as scary as, as it is, that's just 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's with anything. Like, yeah. you can always gain it back. So, yeah. like, why discredit, like, what you're doing and how you're keeping it off? Literally. Um. So, tell us about your brand and business. Like, did you ever see yourself here? No, no, never. It was never my intention, and I think that's why I love what I do so much. Like, I started popping on stories just for fun, like, good morning, like, hi, like, just updates about my life, like, sharing like I literally was sharing my hydro jugs and my Bomar and like just things like that like my gym workouts and just everything my daily life and um it just grew from there like I know I, said, I heard that when they found you like hydro when we yeah. found you you already had like a whole so it's really funny I literally have a screenshot from last December um and I posted a story and I was like hydro jug times Amy Joe collab like needs to happen I'll show you like when we're done filming but I have a screenshot and I was like all giddy like showing everyone like my little stash which is so small compared to the stash that I have now but I was like so excited and I'm like oh my gosh literally like manifested that because here we are (laughs) yes I feel like that's so big though like what you think and what you say like does come true for sure for sure keep it positive guys (laughs) but uh so like I guess how did you start with hydro jug like how did it come about so I started off as an affiliate like I just got the email like you guys have a big like Like, affiliate program like the ambassador Yeah, yeah 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 that's what I meant the ambassador program and then I think Alex had found me and she messaged me and she's like do you want to do like a like, like a, a club yeah like and I was like heck yeah like full send <laughs> um and it's just kind of we kept going no, from there and here you are here one of our athletes I, I love, love it, it. yeah <laughs> so uh what is your current relationship with self-love right now like how do you work on this every day like do you have advice for other people that are trying to find it it is much better than it has been obviously you still have hard days and you still have little bumps in the road Mm -hmm. um but again I think like the biggest thing is just your self-awareness and going through therapy like if you don't work through things like they're always going to come up and if you don't have like the tools and the resources to deal with it in a healthy way like you could end up dealing with it in an unhealthy way like eating your feelings or you know what I mean like things like that so just having those tools available for you and just knowing how to use them yeah, like, do you have examples of, like, tools? Like, do you have a certain person you go to? Or? Yeah, so I actually work with a coach. She's one of my best friends, so she's really helpful. Um, and I'll do, like, journaling and affirmations. And I literally have sticky notes on my bathroom mirror, oh, like, I of affirmations. That. And I think that's so important yeah. and it's so helpful. Yeah, but. that's that's a good way. I, I have, I've had friends that do the same thing. They yeah. put sticky notes everywhere, and it, yeah. it really does help when you it read does. that. And it, it just, does. like, puts a smile on your face. So, um. So what advice would you give to your younger self if, I mean, you are young. I'm like, you're even younger. I'm still young. (laughs) I know. But like, Um, what advice would you give yourself maybe three years ago? Honestly, just like, keep showing up. Like, everything happens for a reason. I truly believe that. Like, if I didn't go through everything I've gone through, I wouldn't be where I am today. Like, I wouldn't, like... Mm-hmm. I think of, like, all the people that I've touched just by sharing my story. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, you have mm-hmm. the ability to reach and inspire so many people. And, like, I just think that I went through everything I did just to help others. So, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thanks. No, I love that. So what's next for you? Like, what are you? We're just coasting along, figuring yeah. out, you know. Any kids? Yeah. I, cats. Cats? cats? We got cats? Yeah, we got cats. We got kid cats. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, I know. I feel like that's everyone's question. Once right. you get married, you're like, kids, are they coming? I, people thought I was pregnant. I'm like, That's why you no, got married guys, so quick. I'm not pregnant, <laughs> promise. But no, I don't know. Not anytime soon. Maybe when I'm like, my mom had me when she was 33. I'm like, I might just follow in your footsteps if I do. Like, I just, Yeah, just live life and then yeah, they change so your you whole can life. enjoy it. They do. It's they really do. It's such a big thing. And I'm like, eh. eh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I had Strider it when I was 21 and it was a huge change. Yeah. I, I've loved growing up with him. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, it's there's hard. times when I'm like, oh, I wish I could have just lived life yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah. But then I'm like, oh, I did a, so much with him, you know? Yeah. So it was, it was great. But now going on to that second child, I'm going to be like where your mom was at yeah. having if if I do have another child then it'd yeah. be like in my 30s so that's cool to know that your mom had you when and she I was love like I don't think like I love our age difference like it's awesome and that's why I'm like I'm, I'm in no rush like yeah. I'm only 21 so yeah because I feel like parents at that age when they have kids in their 30s they're they're calmed down. Yeah, yeah. They're ready to give you yeah. their full attention. I feel like you're either like and... ready to have them like super young or you're like, nah, let me wait and have them when I'm 30. Mm-hmm. Like there's just like Do one or the other. Do you have siblings? 
I have an older brother, so Shanna here, she's with us. She's my brother's girlfriend. Okay. So yeah, they've been dating for like four years. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Any questions being popped soon? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right <laughs> at Nick. <laughs> at Nick. <laughs> I love Nick, it. this is your. Uh, yeah, this is uh, your sign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome it. so do, does she live she lives in minneapolis but okay. uh we're, we're trying to we're trying to get her close to me yes whether that's in california or utah we, that's awesome so she just came down to yeah. visit with you like yeah. so you guys just met in the middle kind yeah. of not the, really the middle but sure <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> well that's awesome so um i feel like those are all the questions i had yeah yeah that was fun i know this is my first podcast so i'm like I yeah. know. I like want to ask you more. I just want to know more. But you are great. I can't believe you're only 21. I know. I get that a lot. I think it's like, I don't know. You're very mature. Yeah. And you got like a good head on your shoulders. I don't feel like yeah. I was at that. <laughs> Were you there, Vince? No. 21? <laughs> He's like, I'm still not yeah. there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vince is great. I love it. <laughs> but um, but that, it everything's great. I, I've i seen some people do VSG. I just didn't really know about yeah. it. So it's cool yeah. to hear your story and like to kind of see it from someone's perspective. But I, I honestly, I agree. Like do what makes you, you want to do and makes you happy. Yeah. That's amazing. That's like my biggest thing. And I get it so often, but... Again, it's your life. Nobody else's. So. Yeah. Full send. Okay. So how did this sleeve come about? So it can't, it's it been a while. Like Alex reached out to me a while ago about it. And she's like, send me some inspo. And we went through like a few different um, designs for it. But I freaking love I'm it. I'm in love. I'm obsessed with obsessed. it. Like the color Everything. and like the eye. It is so perfect. I could not love it If anymore. I could find a sleeve, it'd be that sleeve yes. for you. Yeah. I know. It's literally like. Amy in yeah, a sleeve. It is. It's, it's perfect. beautiful. I love the, it. the, so how did, how did that process go? Like coming from an athlete's perspective? So I just like went on Pinterest and I was like, here are like color palettes that I like. Like this is kind of the vibe. I feel like so many people expected me to do like a leopard or animal print because I do love that. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no, I want to do something different, like something a little boho. Like I love it. Just something to, like mm -hmm. that we don't have. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Can't yeah. No, it's launch. beautiful. I'm excited. Thank it you. will. I'm sure that this will come out that week that okay, it launches. Perfect. So you guys yeah. are going to be seeing what we're talking about. Yay. It is so cute. All right. Well, on that note, thank you guys for listening. I had so much fun, Amy. Thanks for being on this podcast with me. Thank I'm sad so that Kenzie wasn't me. here to talk with us. Um, I just ask you guys to like and subscribe, share, please share, share, share. Um, and yeah. Stay hydrated with Hydro Jug. Hey, Hydro Fam. I hope you enjoyed the podcast with Amy Jo. As a thank you, we want to give one lucky winner one of her sleeves before it drops this Saturday. So all you need to do is comment, like, and follow us, and we will send it out tomorrow.